This project is all about bringing people together um, using the power of a shared residential experience, uh, activities based on either outdoor adventures or creative arts. This uh, week uh, we've been doing all kinds of activities. There's art, drama, dance and music. We've done team building challenges and uh, we've showed everyone what we've been doing in our groups. I enjoyed when we went on to the gorge walking, got really drenched. Well, I quite like going on the ab ceiling because it was really high. And there's a lot of emerging evidence that a shared residential experience brings people closer together. Maybe puts them out of the comfort zone a little bit, but it does allow new and open relationships to flourish. Um, and that was something that we really wanted to build on. And because we've got really strong links with the Army Welfare Service um, already and with Sandwell Youth Service, it seemed like a great idea to bring together children from the Sandwell background with a high degree of ethnic diversity and children and young people from the Armed Forces background where there is really a need for children to mix more with young people from different backgrounds. I've really seen uh, enjoyment, um, there's a lot of laughter, you can always tell if something's good by the, the level of, of noise and humour, plenty of that by all uh, students and staff uh, and so I think uh, I've seen a product of some really hard work over planning 18 months and, and this, this week. It's been great. The residential experiences allow young people to step out of their own home backgrounds and, and the way they do things and see how others live and uh, do things differently perhaps. And it was wonderful to see how the relationships were formed over the time that we spent there. These shared experiences uh, were very powerful and they were not forced by any means, they were just totally organic. Once they come together, they naturally make friends. I met lots of new people. Yeah, new friends? Mm -hmm. well, the first part of the week, we was all sort of keep to your own groups and then we sort of merged together. Like, no, we we're all like a big family sort of thing. And that's really cheesy, but... It was, it was only me that came from my youth club in Whittington, so I got some new friends here. And I'll be sad when I leave tomorrow. One of the things that's really, really impressed me is today we were out good gorge walking and at the beach this morning and there were some really difficult challenges over the last couple of days and you see them holding out a helping hand. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, you're part of that group and they've integrated so well in that respect. As the week's gone by, we can't tell the difference between the two different groups of young people. They're just one big group of young people now, so they're on activities together, they're outside together, they're, in, they're chilling out together. Even in the dining room, they're sitting on tables together without any kind of notion that there's two different groups here. I think the long-term impact is going to be really positive. Um, we've already got through social media, the young people are all connecting with each other. We've been approached as youth workers to come up with a plan so that they can spend time together. So we will build into our normal sessions that we go and visit each other's um, youth groups, etc. Uh, and the young people are already will already be badgering us about that right from today, right through till the, for the next couple of months, just to make sure that that happens. They, they really want to continue the, the relationships and the friendships that they've made through this week.